Poppy has uh, been having uh, some crusts and stuff under his, on his neck, and this type of lesions here are commonly due to yeast infection. Bacterial infections, ringworm, and mite infections. So your vet may need to diagnose and treat this any hair loss like this, but what I've seen in the clinic is that when a dog has a sensitivity to a type of a collar, whether it be a nylon collar or a flea collar, it causes hair loss, crusting, and infection all in this area. And you can see on the chart there that bacteria and yeast and fungal infections will cause it. And nylon and fabric collars, flea collars will also cause that as well as mites and fleas themselves. So if your dog has a nylon collar on, you may want to remove that, uh, give the your dog a really good antibacterial uh, shampoo or even Don detergent and rub some Neosporin on that and then replace that with a stainless steel collar. And stainless steel collars aren't as irritating as nylon collars which get a lot of mud and dirt on them and can rub against the skin and it could cause that infection. So if you think your dog has a, a reaction to a collar you should take it off, shampoo it, with a good antibacterial shampoo, put some Neosporin on it, or take it to your vet so they could diagnose mange mites or fleas or scabies or ringworm or uh, yeast infection. And, um, and staph infection always occurs in those irritated areas. And if you get a chance, check out Dog Dish Diet. I wrote several books about how to feed your dog a better diet, how to home cook for your dog, and you wouldn't believe the results. Have a great day.